Your CNOS Health Watch on Siouxland News. Carpal tunnel is a common injury for many Americans. What can you do if you think you may have carpal tunnel? Siouxland News reporter Katie Link went to CNOS to find out. Carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms include pain in the hand and the fingers and numbness and tingling in the thumb, index finger, middle finger, and this half of the ring finger. Angie Reinhardt, an occupational therapist at CNOS, says it can feel like your hands keep falling asleep. It frequently occurs by people using repetitive wrist motions with work tasks, play tasks, or just daily activities. People who tend to type for long periods of time and musicians are some of its top sufferers. Sometimes we can treat carpal tunnel syndrome conservatively where the patient will come in, we do an evaluation and we set up a treatment plan for them. We will work on soft tissue mobilization, we will work on teaching them exercises to get the tendons and the nerves gliding through the carpal tunnel space. In addition to treating it, learning to do things differently can help keep carpal tunnel from returning. We um, can teach the patient body mechanics education, which means that we're going to use our body in the appropriate manner to put less stress and wear and tear on the nerves and tendons. Um, we can also teach ergonomics education, which is changing the way the job is completed instead of changing your body to fit a job. In other words, helping your body move more naturally. And so we go through and we make adaptations to people's computer setups or in industries we can look at how we can change a tool or change the way they're doing a type of job to make it less stressful on the body. But sometimes carpal tunnel is too far progressed and more than therapy is in order. If your um, physician recommends that you have carpal tunnel release surgery, um, you should get registered for the Get a Grip class. The class gives patients a detailed understanding of what carpal tunnel is and what they can expect with the surgery. We help the patient to realize what not to do before surgery, what to do, the kind of the do's and don'ts after the surgery. It's a very helpful tool to help the patient feel more comfortable before going into surgery. They get their questions answered and they can just feel like they understand what's going to be happening before and after surgery. For Siouxland News, I'm Katie Link. Now most of the time after surgery, much of your hand function will return within a few weeks. Now it could take a few months of rehab to regain total strength.